A new path connecting historic Camden and the Revolutionary War Center has officially opened. It's called the Watery Street, which showcases many different types of architecture. We also are using it as an extension of both of our programming to talk about the indigenous people who lived in this area and also talk about Camden as it was during the colonial and early federal period. Well, it was the southernmost street of Camden. So um, when the colonial Camden was here and you look at the maps, Watery Street was the southern boundary. And as the years went on and there were fires and things happened, the city grew north. It didn't really grow that much past Water Reef Street. The city was one of the largest battlefield sites in our state during the Revolutionary War, making it a key part of South Carolina history. On the north side of the road sit steel homes designed as they would have looked back 200 years ago. We have maps from the early periods showing Water Reef Street and showing the lots that the surveyors set out that they were selling people. And these three structures are set up as the house lots would have been set. While the south side of the road will showcase a completely different experience. To do an exhibit on the Catawba people, the watery people, those who were living here before European colonization. So we're very happy we have a um, frame for a bark house structure. And we also have two silhouettes, being three interpretive panels in this area that will talk about the silhouettes and the bark house. And it will also touch briefly on the history of the first people who were here, their culture. The site, which is now open and was grant funded, will also provide an outdoor amphitheater, which is under construction. For Street Squad in Kershaw County, I'm Walker Lawson.